loves okay so no you're not tripping i just talked about in the video get up i talked about you having to still fight even in the midst of them trying to drain your energy even in the midst of them trying to put you down you still gotta fight okay because like i told you guys before like you have some of you guys have children you gotta fight for you have future children you're the next generation you gotta just fight there is a spirit of laziness that's being casted upon people you know how i feel about the word lazy i don't like calling anyone lazy because a lot of the times it's warfare you may be a very ambitious, a very outgoing person, but for some reason, you don't have the drive like you used to. You don't have the enthusiasm like you used to, the ambition like you used to. You're like, what happened to me? You know what I mean? That's when someone is trying to drain your energy and they're purposely draining it. It's a spirit of laziness. It's called the spirit of stagnation, okay? It, it, it keeps you depressed and keeps you stuck. That usually happens when there's someone doing work on you. Most of the times, they do a graveyard ritual for that to happen. Let me tell you about a graveyard ritual. When they do because this happened to me when they do a graveyard ritual on you your whole life feels dead it's like everything in your life just feels dead you feel like you have no motivation no ambition you feel like you're not going nowhere in life you just feel like what's the point of being here and everything is falling apart your your work your home everything it's like when they do a graveyard ritual they're putting an ending to everything in your life and then you feel like there's an ending overall in you like you feel like everything bright in you is ended god said he is gonna purify us okay he is fighting in the spiritual but just because god is gonna purify us we still have um obligations we still have responsibilities in the physical that we have to do for the lord we still gotta fight you get what I'm saying? Like we still have responsibilities. Don't let the stagnation make it say, you know, I'm gonna lay down for 10 more minutes. I'm gonna lay down for an hour. You know, I'm just gonna take a quick rest. And then that turns into you being on your phone all day, laying in bed all day. Don't let that happen, okay? Proverbs 19 verse 15 says, laziness cast one into a deep sleep and an idle person will suffer hunger, okay? Um, it also says in, in another scripture in Proverbs that those who rest during harvest time, they don't receive the fruits of their labor do you get what i'm saying because your hands working hard you bring in results god has his children working really hard okay we don't just sit around and do nothing and if you feel like something's happening where you're sitting around doing nothing there's probably a spirit of stagnation and laziness that's upon you and we got to rebuke that in the name of jesus lord god anyone that is suffering from the spirit of stagnation the spirit of laziness the spirit of depression the spirit of anxiety we cast it out in the name of jesus we're rebuke it in the name of Jesus and anyone that is suffering Lord God and their names that are on any demonic altar remove their names off every demonic altar in the name of Jesus break every curse Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah break every curse in the mighty name of Jesus Lord God restore all ambition restore all responsibility Lord God restore enthusiasm Lord God restore happiness Lord God purify the souls and the hearts and the spirit lord god in the name of jesus we break every curse in the name of jesus we break every stagnation remove all bondage off your children lord god in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah i love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye